Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. This will be your love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits and leave the rest, okay? So we're going to take a look here and see what the messages are. Boy, that Page of Pentacles now. That seems to be the dominant card. Okay, past, present. If you'd like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram, House of Virgo. Okay, let's take a look and see. What new energy? Hope you all are doing well. All right, let's take a look here and get some love messages for you guys. Okay, separation in the past. <sighs> Might have been some trust issues in the past with someone, okay? Um, someone came in like a wrecking ball, all right? There was an opportunity, there was love for sure, and there was an opportunity for love. I feel like somebody, you know, I, I have to tell you, um, Virgo, this person that you were connecting with in the past, this person ran away from love. They ran away from having that beautiful blessing and you guys separated. Okay, that's how I feel. And trust issues, triggers, trust issues. Okay, um, I feel like this person was giving you a lot of like, you know, ideas or things that they wanted to say or things that they were hoping to happen because that page of pentacles can be about that, you know, new ideas, concepts. You know things uh, things that could ha things that could happen. Um, I just heard um, future faking for some of you. This person, right, came in with that Knight of Wands energy and then ran out. Very lusty, sexual kind of thing. I feel like that happened. Okay, and um, you know, love was there for the taking with the Ace of Cups. Let's look at this Knight of Wands. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person came in, gave you. What they were able to give you came in maybe with some fresh promises or, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, things like that. And then um, their intention was not to stay, okay? Um, they For some of you, this person may have like came, like brought you that cup of love, like initiate, like it was surrounding. I feel like your person got scared. Your person has very serious trust issues. They have no faith. Faith in themselves. They were always kind of in this position in the past of like hoping and kind of like, yeah, we're going to do this, going to do this, you know. Let's take a look at the Page of Pentacles. Yep, Knight of Cups came in with that love offer. Tried to come across with having very good intentions, and I feel like they did, but they just were not able to really give the love that you needed two nights that's very transient energy with this person in the past okay the shadow side yeah look that's the devil this person when the true love blessing came in for them they just kind of got spooked they this person it feels like <clears throat> excuse me like, i don't know if they like viewed love as having like very toxic or there was like a great fear which is that devil energy which comes with fear and anxiety and mistrust yeah I feel like you were you were connecting with someone that you probably fell for and they were giving you all these signs that they were interested there were but probably some mixed signals coming in and then going out come coming and going kind of thing um and it all had to do, like, I feel like this person had trouble trusting. There might have been jealousy in the past, or they just had a very jealous nature, possessiveness with that devil. Obsessiveness, sexual lust, okay? And it looks like you guys separated. Now, what's happening in the future here? Two of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Nine of Wands. Wow. Also... Wedding and letting go of control issues. I feel like your person currently is like, they've got wedding on their mind.
They're thinking about you currently. Ace of Cups is wedding. It's commitment. It's, you know, initiating, having, you know, that blessing comes down from above. It was just, it was there. And I feel like they got scared. Let's see what this Two of Pentacles is here. Okay. So there might be communication happening in the present here. Um, I feel like this person has like a thing for you still. Okay. Like a crush kind of thing. Or just like they communicate with you. Um, they might be saying like communicating with you like they're trying to get their money together. Or they're working. Um, and they're, they're, they're thinking about <laughs> definitely a wedding kind of thing. You know, like they're like, they're a bit hesitant about that. They do have their walls up about it. <clears throat> but I feel like there was a lot of control, especially in the past. They tried to control the situation and now I see them letting go of control issues. Okay. So there's communication from this person happening in the present. some ideas or something that they communicate with you about some creative ideas or some things again that they want to do with you all right um or that they would like to do with you or to talk about things that you can do together and i'm hearing asking you what you think about this so are they trying to come back in again yes Asking your thoughts, what do you think? What do you think about this that I want to, that we can do together? What do you think about if we, we go here, you know, we go, we take a trip or we go do something because the page of wands is like very active. That's like the little boy calling his friends after school and say, Hey, you want to come play? Okay. So that's kind of what I feel like this person is going to be in the present or right now initiating with you. Now, the Eight of Pentacles thing is here. So, thing. I said thing. <laughs> Card is here. So, that's always an energy of like, you know, putting effort into something, being more consistent. And I feel like this person wants to try to be a bit more consistent with you, Virgo. Okay. The moon. Well, of course, there is an element here of um, deception a little bit. Hmm. But it's not really deception in a negative way. It, these are voluntary, voluntary changes. And I feel like your person is going to be voluntarily making changes here. Because they do have wedding on their mind and they do have this thing where they're kind of recognizing that they've been trying to control the relationship by... Uh, holding back. That's what their control issue was. Uh, pulling away. Holding back. That's a control issue, you know. Withdraw. And there's the emperor. Okay. So yeah, they may have issues with their father had issues with their father in the past, but um, there's also this, like, in order for me to be someone who is above board and who is respected and to be trusted and someone that can, like, make plans and follow through, this is what I'm going to have to do. And I feel like this is what they're saying, okay? Now, I don't know what happened from the past until the present. Something must have happened. Let's take a look at this shadow side card in the past. Oh, there you go. Ten of Swords. Rock bottom. This person hit rock bottom. Might be like some kind of, I feel, um, dark night of the soul coming to terms with some things during the separation. So I would say, Virgo, there is going to be some communication from this person to try again and to be more consistent with you. 
Now let's take a look at the future. The Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, finances and career and express your love. Okay, so this, there's definitely an element of um, financial and career issues that get in the way of this, um, or will just factor into this relationship, and I'm not really sure how. I feel like on their side, they're very focused on that. But there's also express your love, okay? These two things colliding, interesting. How to bring those two things together, how to be a loving partner and be someone that can be focused on work as well. How to have that balance. Now the Eight of Cups, some kind of a journey coming here with this person, moving forward. Hmm. This person is leaving other people, putting other, cutting other people out to come towards you. Okay, going forward. I don't know if they're out dating or they are <clears throat> talking to other people or there's other prospects here. They may, you know, this is the future, but in the present, weighing their options and, and coming back to you. Okay. Maybe telling you that, you know, you're the one they want to marry. You're the one they want to be with. They got to let go of these control issues and start putting in the effort, like voluntarily making, showing you that they can be trusted and that you can feel safe and secure with them. So going forward, the Eight of, Cup, uh, eight of Cups and the Five of Wands, yeah. This person is like... I feel like there's people that compete for their love and attention. I do, or there will be going forward. But I also feel like there are people who going forward will be fighting for yours as well. And I feel like they're gonna see that. And they're gonna come over <laughs> and tell, tell these people. I know I'm laughing and I know some of you are like, no, that's not the way to do it. But I feel like this person's gonna try to like, shut others down whether it's in their own life going forward cut out all these like um distractions if they were just being very flirtatious or talking to other people i feel like they're gonna you know stop that yep i was just saying look at this you see that guy there he's got three swords in his hand breaking hearts Okay, driving a wedge, breaking these other people's hearts and saying, no, can't. Eight of Wands is here. I'm going towards Virgo. Pretty quickly. Big change, making quick change, expressing their love. This is coming out of the blue, I feel. Travel. Yep, Three of Wands, travel. They're coming towards you. Or moving quickly or making these changes, putting in the effort and wanting that same effort in return. If you want to give it, you give it. If you don't want to give it, you don't give it. It's up to you. I'm just taking a look at this person's energy here. And that three of wands, you know, it's just like expansion. It's teamwork, working together. Three, three, and three. No, three and three. It's working together. I feel like they're ready, they're like going forward. You know, they're really thinking about it here and they don't want to stop talking to you or lose the connection with you. They're really in this place in their life where, you know, they've been very hesitant about commitment or wedding or marriage or things like that uh, because of that devil energy playing, wreaking havoc in their mind, a lot of anxiety and um probably some past trauma and stuff like that, you know? I mean, everybody's got it to some degree, different levels, you know? But I do feel like they're gonna be, um, you know, making their moves towards you going forward and coming to terms with, you know, they gotta stop trying to control things in their life and just let things evolve and unfold naturally. I 
I don't feel like they, they, they really want to lose you. I just feel like they're confused. They were confused. They hit rock bottom in the past. They go out there. They try talking to other people, you know, weighing their options, coming to turn. Like, it almost feels like they compare other people to you. Like, no one compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Like that song. All right, let's take a look and see what their love messages are here for you. Okay. Yep, marriage. This relationship is moving toward a sacred union. It is. It will. It's just really difficult for you, Virgo. I know you know that. You know, this could be... This could be somebody from your past or that past thing is over and somebody new here you could be meeting while you're out dating or, you know, talking to others or, you know, socializing or what have you. You could be meeting someone who's seeking marriage but is hesitant to have that bond. Um, but they do make some kind of an effort to move forward and be done with the other people, their other prospects, and make their make their move towards you. <clears throat> Wait, timing is not quite right. Okay, patience, Virgo. Patience. Oh my gosh, the timing just wasn't right for us. That's a double whammy there, and two different decks here. Okay, so that's a very strong message that, you know. <sighs> If things aren't moving along or the way you want them to move along, just you have to be patient. You know, you could have your past person coming back and somebody else being there as well. But no matter what, you 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 can all, the best you can really arrive at is to just to attract love into your life rather than going out and seeking it or forcing it or trying to make it happen. I mean, the way you attract love is you just make yourself present in in being your best self. And, and, you know, see what you attract rather than going out and trying to make that happen. Um, but I do feel like um, the, that's, that really is the message here. The timing wasn't right. The timing is not right just yet. You, your person from the past definitely saying the timing just wasn't right. And there might be somebody new saying that same thing or it's this person coming back and just you know in the present taking their time still trying to get up it almost feels like the courage to get into emperor mode to try to get themselves to a position where they can be what you want them to be okay i lied to you all right that message is coming through here because i feel like if this person told you that they didn't want to be in a relationship um that was not true or take it to the another level i don't feel like that was true everything happens for a reason here this struggle that you're going through with this person it's for a reason you virgo i think you were ready to make that connection with someone and i feel like you were with someone who wasn't and that's difficult that's where the timing comes in because you're presently ready and this person and in the past maybe you were but it's it could have just been timing and for others it's just their timing it was my fault but i blamed you obstacles unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement that has a lot to do with this struggle i really feel that way um and regret they feel remorse for the way they treated you and they are coming back um and you might just be like well they didn't really treat me that bad but maybe they did but it doesn't matter because the remorse isn't is within them maybe they lost you maybe they made you go away for some of you and for others you just decided you were moving forward detach with love to clearly see the truth of this person children are important to this partnership so children could have had something to do with their the timing it also could have something to do with the present this person might want children you might want children or may not want children or you might be misaligned in that put away the computer working less will help strengthen your relationship so this just feels like it, there needs to be more uh, physical affection more physical engagement rather and i don't necessarily mean intimacy but 
just to be in each other's life and not just be computer doesn't always mean a computer it could just mean a lot of communicate like not seeing each other as much like you guys could not see each other for like a month and then just be communicating on the phone all the time you know there has to be less of that and more of seeing one another more okay i feel like your person is going to be doing that putting the computer away <laughs> i feel like they've been in denial about themselves and what they wanted and love and with you and i feel like they this time period where there's detachment or they're pulling back trying to sort that out is when they come to see the truth about whatever obstacles there were or regrets or blaming you for things okay virgo so I hope that resonates for you. And yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link below in the description box. So I will see you very soon. Take care.